Let me ask you about Andre Johnson. What comes to mind when I say his name? Andre was just phenomenal. I had never played with a physical uh, receiver like him before. You know, whatever he was, 6'4 and 230, 35 pounds. Uh, he was just a, a physical freak. Uh, but the way he was soft-spoken, didn't say a lot, uh, and just went to work every single day. You know, he had his own Friday workouts in the summertime. Uh, he, uh, I think someone, you know, uh, labeled as like the, the, the hurricane workout or the canes workout or something like that, which, you know, some players showed up for that was extremely challenging. Uh, you know, Andre was not outworked, but he was one of those rare players that was extremely talented, uh, and refused to be outworked by anybody. So, uh, one of my all time teammates, the best wide receiver, uh, I ever played with, uh, in my time in college or the NFL. And, and in my opinion, should be a, a hall of fame receiver. How do you overall remember your time in Houston and, and maybe tell us a little bit about your impression of the Texans as an organization and how it was run, that sort of thing, because you've played with, was it three other teams? I think the Vikings, the Redskins and the Dolphins. Well, in the, in the New York Giants there at the end of my career. So, you know, I, I think when I look back at my Texans time, um, you know, I'm filled with a lot of happiness in the fact that was the best uh, I ever played in my NFL career. It's the most I played in my NFL career. Uh, I believe that those three years sort of solidified the fact that I was a, a legit NFL quarterback, uh, that I could be respected, you know, around the league, uh, you know, for my quarterback play. I also look back and, and I wish I would never left Houston. You know, I had a chance to go to, up to the Minnesota Vikings to compete for a starting job. And, and you know, Schaub sort of had, uh, he was the starter, you know, he was being paid like the starter and, and he was a starting quarterback for the Texans. And so I thought a uh, if I could get a better chance to go up there and start in Minnesota on another very good football team with a great running back and, and Adrian Peterson, you know, I would have loved that opportunity. And, and uh, I think that was the worst decision that I probably made uh, career wise uh, in my NFL career. Um, you know, shouldn't, shouldn't have left uh, a Kubiak system. It was perfect for me. Kyle Shanahan system. Uh, they're just the way, uh, I, I knew what I was doing. Uh, I, I knew, knew where all the bones were buried, you know, within that system, and uh, and did not play nearly as well uh, anywhere else in my NFL career. So, you know, looking back, uh, you know, hindsight's always twenty twenty. But uh, uh, looking back, I wish I would never left Houston. And uh, and but I, I loved playing for that organization. You know, really good people in that organization. I like Kubiak's coaching staff. You know, at that time, uh, but from the owner on down, from you know, from Bob McNair. Uh, on down, I really thought it was a first-class organization. You know, the people upstairs were very personable, uh, and they respected the players. I think the players respected them. It was a very, very good organization from from the top down, and I can see why they're consistently, you know, a, a winning team. You're listening to Houston Sports Talk.